Today I'm Lizzie Wyatt. Find out where you can participate in a skating event. Learn where you can join in a winter fat tire bike race. Plus, find out the winner of St. Paul Park's Holiday Lights Contest. Hello, I'm Elena Myers. And I'm Justin Atkinson. Well, get your skates ready. St. Paul Park will be having their annual Winterfest skating event on January 20th from 1 to 3 p.m. The event is free and will take place at the Whitbread Warming House. There will be games, refreshments, a medallion hunt, and prizes. There will also be a limited number of skates available for free rental. The winners of the Holiday Lights Contest were announced in St. Paul Park at Monday's City Council meeting. The Morgan family at 807 Portland Avenue won first place. Their home had over 5,000 lights and over 40 figurines. The Sison family, who lives across the street at 808 Portland Avenue, won second place. Their Winter Wonderland helped to raise 138 pounds of food for the Friends in Need food shelf. The Holiday Lights Contest is a partnership between Old National Bank and the City of St. Paul Park. The Cottage Grove City Council swore an interim member Wayne Butt to the open council seat. He will serve through November 2019. Steve Dennis and Dave Thede were re-sworn in during the January 3rd council meeting after being re-elected in the November election. This week, John Bartle's Hardware closed its doors for the last time. After 65 years, let's take a look back at the Newport business's legacy. Hello, may I help you? Do we have glass? Oh yes, we have glass. Sure, what size would you like? Good, good. For over 60 years, John Bartle's Hardware Store has been a well-loved location for Newport residents. Now in its twilight days, owner Tom Bartle finds himself surrounded by a rich legacy. I went to college, went to Mankato State, then after that I was in the service, and then I, uh, I was helping my dad a little bit uh, here and there. And then I uh, came in uh, part-time, and then I just went into a full-time uh, type of thing, and I worked for him for many years. We worked together for, you, for probably 50-plus years. And then I, I bought the store, oh gosh, it probably was maybe uh, 35 years ago from he and my mother. If, if we had uh, set up in the morning a coffee pot and some cookies, then we could have been the local coffee shop. All the local people would have stopped in and visited and found out the local news and what was happening in Newport. It's a very unique store. We have over 40,000 different items. And many times we hear this, I should have come here first. And I said, well, you know, if I had somebody I know, I said, well, you should have, you should know better than that. You know, but we, we have many more items than the average new hardware store has nowadays. And it takes a long while to build up getting some of these different items. And we have older merchandise that people can't find any other place. And, and it's the service. It's, 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 it really, I, 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 I talk service, service, service. And I, and I know this, but it, it's amazing how when people come in and say, oh, Oh, they, you know, they, they appreciated us so much how well we took care of them over the years. And so that, that makes it feel real good. There's still a, this is what I feel so bad about, not being able to keep a store here, because it's very good for the communities, not only in Newport, but St. Paul Park and Cottage Grove and Woodbury, and Great Colby Drop from all those areas. And you can't believe the people that have come in the store and said, oh, they're gonna miss this store. Even some that I don't really know that well. Some. Some I don't even recognize that much, you know. They, they've, been, they've been coming here for 25 years, maybe not that often, because I, I'm not in here all the time. I've got other people that are helping the customers, so I don't catch everybody. But it, uh, it is unbelievable, the sports that we've had from, from different ones, how, where they're gonna go now and for all the years of good service. It was very important. Uh, and all uh, people say, "Oh, you're really gonna," and I'll, I'll, I'll miss it to a certain degree, actually, because I, you know, I've been so involved. But life goes on, and it, uh, you got a lot of fond memories. like to wish Tom a happy retirement. Well, beginning on January 16th, park shelters and buildings in Woodbury will be available for rent. There are many different locations available to rent throughout the city that are suitable for all group sizes, including Central Park, Eagle Valley Golf Course, and Health East Sports Center. To reserve a shelter or building, visit the city's website. 
On January 3rd, Newport swore in City Council members Tom Ingeman and Lori Elliott. Both were elected to represent the city during the November election. On December 31st, the city of Codge Grove welcomed a new business to the community. Let's check out Orange Theory Fitness. We're here at the new Orange Theory Fitness here in Cottage Grove. This is about 3,000 square feet and it'll be home to 15 or more employees and hundreds obviously of new members. Professionals offer heart rate based, science based classes focused on interval training. Everything we do is technology tracked um, and coach inspired. It's unique to anything else in the marketplace right now. 90% of it is just getting yourself here and we'll take care of the rest. So all fitness levels are invited because it's really based off of your own heart rates and you make the workout what you want to make of it. So just come see us, stop in. We're here seven days a week. We're open every day. So we'd love to help you hit your fitness goals in, in 2019. So we're very excited to be here in Cottage Grove. We are proud to have you and Orange Theory because our newest member of our community so congratulations one there we go congratulations welcome thank you so much orange theory fitness is located at 8621 east point douglas road near target give them a call today to schedule one free 60 minute training session on january 20th the cold catfish cup is back the fat bike race will be held at the carver lake park off-roading cycling trail this year, riders can ride on the 18-mile elite race or the 12-mile sport race. There will also be a marathon race in which riders see how many laps they can complete in a four-hour period. It costs $20 for those 19 and older and $10 for those under 18. You can register on the Cold Catfish Cup website. The Washington County Department of Public Health is seeking nominations for the 2019 Public Health Achievement Awards. These awards will recognize and honor residents who devote their time and energy to improve the public health and environmental conditions within the county. The award is available in three categories, youth, individual, and group. To learn more about the awards or to nominate a person or group, you can visit the county's website. Last Tuesday, Presbyterian Homes and Services held a dedication celebration for the opening of their newly expanded campus. Norris Square in Cottage Grove now offers more space in their senior living community, a 64-unit independent living building and a 67-unit skilled nurse and memory care facility will connect to the standing building through a small town center, housing administration, the chapel, and a wellness area. A grand opening celebration for the general public will be held on Tuesday, January 15th, 2 to 4 p.m. Now here's a quick look at some upcoming events happening around South Washington County you might want to check out. <music> We hope you've had a great first full week of 2019 so far. That's right, you know, 2019, I can't believe it's it's here already and it's been a good year so far, right? Very we, good. <laughs> you know, we've been, we're still doing the show every Friday, Weekly Wire, new episodes come out, so you can continue to look forward to that. Yep, thank you for joining us and we'll see you next week.